extension offices across Oklahoma are getting a lot of calls lately about webworms. And joining us now to talk more about webworms is Jackie Lee, our extension entomologist. And Jackie, we're kind of seeing these in a lot of trees all around the state. Give us an idea of what people are asking you. We're seeing these at greater numbers this year than we have in previous numbers, Lyndall. And I have received a lot of calls in my office concerned about whether or not these webworms could affect the pecan crop this year. And what is the answer? I mean, we have some decent pecans. We do, we do. <laughs> it's gonna be a good year for pecans in Oklahoma. And um, the good news is webworm actually does no damage to the actual pecan, okay. but it can defoliate the tree. So the only um, reason you should be concerned is if you have a lot of webs in the tree that could cause severe defoliation. So it knocks the leaves off, essentially. That's what the webworm does. Well, actually, the webworm feeds inside the web on the leaves. Okay. And as the caterpillars grow in size, they make their webs larger and larger until they engulf a greater part of that tree and it'll completely defoliate that area. Okay, but do they eat the pecans too? They do not eat the pecans. No, just the foliage. Uh, yeah. And is it mainly in pecan trees or it's kind of in a lot of other different types of trees too? Well, actually in the south, it's, it's mainly hickories, pecans, and sweet gum trees. And they can also um, be a pest in fruit trees, um, but it's, it's rare. So not too much damage. What if it's a younger tree? Are they more susceptible? Now the younger trees are much more susceptible and I would recommend removing any webworms from trees that were less than five years of age. And then is removal pretty simple? It just kind of like it sounds? <laughs> it is. You just pretty much take a, take a branch and, and run your, your hand along the branch to remove the webworm or you can just prune out those limbs in the younger trees. Just make sure you dispose of the worms. Exactly, <laughs> so they don't start all right, over. Right. Is there, are there other uh, control options as well and how do you know when to use those? Right, so whenever you see um, severe defoliation um, in your trees, you will want to spray. Um, if you have the commercial spray equipment, um, you can use um, a BT product, Bacillus thuringiensis, or a methoxyphenazide product, and work, which works very well um, on these pests. But you want to make sure um, that you do a spot treatment and that you really, really penetrate that web or the spray won't work. We've seen these the last few weeks. Are we kind of near the end of their life cycle or as we kind of get cooler temperatures probably? Right. This is the last generation for webworm. And usually this is the only damaging generation that we have. Um, these guys are gonna start pupating right about now. So the worms will fall to the ground and pupate in the soil. So they'll be finished up here in the next few weeks. Okay, we'll be glad for that. Yes. Jackie Lee, thanks a lot, great advice. And for more information on identifying and treating webworms, go to sunup.okstate.edu.